Hey, hey, system coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Chani Sports, and welcome back to the Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. My player career mode. In today's episode, the European Championship is starting. I am completely shocked. I haven't even mentioned this in the last episode properly. We are up against France, Sweden, and Norway. So it's going to be Haaland. It's going to be Mbappe. Both in our group. Alexander Isak is going to be up against us as well. I am so excited for the European Championship. It's the first time where we get to play anywhere different than our own club with Cristiano. If you are excited, make sure to smash that like button. Because lads, in today's epi, there's not only the European Championship. There is also a transfer on the line. You had to go ahead and basically help me out. But let me just tell you this. I'm stupid. Obviously. Yes, I am stupid. I did go ahead and forget about putting the poll into this into the uh, description. So well done by me. So I had to read through all of the comments and I read through all of them. And you guys basically have said that Cristiano should not, should not go over to Bayern Munich. He should wait for a different offer possibly from within Spain or an offer from the Premier League. That has been what you guys have been wanting me to do the most. And for that reason, Iron, I'm out. I'm sorry, but that is how we begin the epi. Hey, boys, you have been supporting this series to an incredible, incredible level. I have never had a more successful series at the beginning of any year of FIFA. So if you could keep it up by smashing that like button for this one, let's try and get this to over 3,500 likes. I think that's realistic, isn't it? What up? It's Biscuit. Chani wants realism. I actually think we live in a simulation and the world's not real. So 5,000 likes or I'll unplug you from the matrix. So please go ahead and do so as we have the European Championship coming up now. Cristiano is now a striker, so we will be playing instead of Cristiano's dad in the striking position. So that is going to be quite huge as well, because as you know, he might have retired from the national team, which leads us to believe that we might have a chance to go ahead and play in a starting lineup and properly replace CR7 with CR7 Jr. With Portugal, he has won the cup with Portugal, right? The European Championship. We need to try and do the same. This could be a huge epi with massive matchups against Mbappe and Haaland. I'm excited. Oh, no way. No freaking way. No, no, this did not just happen. I can't, man. The, the, the thing here is like, obviously the whole story is not supposed to be exactly the one of Cristiano. So we went to Sevilla. We didn't go to Real Madrid or Barcelona or all those types of teams, the big clubs in Spain, especially Real Madrid because of CR7. But here's an offer now coming in from Manchester United. The offer that everyone has been asking for in the comments. Basically, all I was reading in the comments was, wait for an offer from Real Madrid. Wait for an offer from Manchester United. And there it is. There it is. An offer from Manchester United. The return to the Premier League has now opened up for Cristiano early on into the episode, straight away after disregarding the offer from um, uh, from what from uh, Bayern Munich. We are now here, potentially joining a team that has his dad in the team. But here's the fun thing. We would probably higher rated than him and playing in a starting lineup while his dad sits on the bench. This would be quite the story, wouldn't it? He joins the club. His dad is still there. He can still teach him a few things here and there. And Ronaldo Jr. has the offer of Manchester United. Now, I personally didn't necessarily want to follow the career of Cristiano to perfection. That's not something I wanted to do. Uh, the, the career of CR7, I should clarify. This, this just feels right. I don't know why, but this just feels right. Because Manchester United right now with Oli. You guys, the only way you're going to ever see me use Manchester United in my, on my channel is going to be either a rebuild or this. And so many people have been asking me to go ahead and do a Manchester United-based career mode for such a long time. And I've always said, no, no, can't do it. 
Liverpool fan. A lot of people that watch me are Liverpool fans. But I think even those people will understand at this stage that this is a story-based thing that we're building and this fits the story to perfection. 180k per week. Cristiano is about to join. No, he is joining Manchester United. <laughs> we have done it. We have agreed a transfer with Manchester United. And we should be signing with them any second. We should be in the news. I think we should be. Sevilla, Manchester United bid 176 million for Ronaldo Jr. Wow. Oh, that is some money. Please make it happen. Please, please, please make it happen. First game is up against Sweden. It's a must win. We're an 87 rated striker right now. But a lot of people have been saying that I should be rearranging my stats. But guys, I have 90 pace, 91 shooting, 91 dribbling. What? Why do I need to readjust it? I love the way Cristiano plays right now. I don't feel any need to change it. So I'm going to keep it the way it is right now. Yes, I could be higher rated, but it's all about the stats themselves. I love the stats the way they are. So for me personally, I ain't interested in changing things yet. If you desperately want me to be higher rated, let me know. But I personally think we have amazing stats to play anywhere in the attack. Oh, we are coming in instead of Gedesh. And we're going to be playing in between uh, a couple of very, very talented players here with Bernardo Silva behind us. 1-0 up in the 55th minute. Perfect time to come in. Alexander Isak playing for the other side. Let's see if we can get it done against Sweden. Get the three points. The first match that we ever play in a European Championship no World Cup yet, but that would be an amazing trophy to go for, for sure. Here goes Cristiano coming onto the pitch. And I will go for the match rating here because the rest would be a little bit too much to go for. I have to prove myself again, by the way. Uh, now that I've changed position and become a striker, I have to prove myself again as a player for the starting lineup. Ooh, big save in the 65th. Good one coming in there. Sweden making a bunch of changes and uh, we are defending, not necessarily attacking yet as Cristiano, but uh, Sweden is doing a good job here of holding on to the ball. Our team has had maybe 2% possession ever since I got subbed on. No joke. Go on then. Nice. Come on, Cristiano. I tried to possibly run past people there, but it's, it's seeming to be a very tough matchup. First time we actually play in an international match where it's about something. So I really want this to be a good one for Cristiano. He steps up here, has his supporter in Jota. Jota still going, still going. The right hand side is open. I was looking for it. I think me and Jota could be a good partnership though. Gotta admit that. Uh oh. Uh oh, very dangerous. They're inside the box. <sighs> Our first ever game for the national team in a competition. And it comes down to incredible passing play from Sweden. I cannot let this happen, man. Come on, please give me a chance to shoot. Just one more. Jota is open. Jota, if you can find me. Yes, well done. I'm going to cut inside. I was creating the space, about to create the space, but I can already tell I ain't no striker, bro. I might have to change myself back to a right wing or left wing, whatever it is. If I play left wing, though, Jota doesn't play, and that's a, that's a big downside for the national team. So I'm thinking right now, what should I be playing? Obviously, we only changed to a striker so we can request the transfer. Um, because we thought maybe the manager rating uh, going down would help us. Please. Oh my God, bro. That was close. That was way too close. Jota. No. You should have passed it to me, but okay. What, why are we not moving forward? It's the 87th minute, please. Jota. There we go. Some space is created now. Find me if you need. Nah, it's a bad pass. 89th minute. I'm going to be waiting for this. On the outside. Oh, I don't know about that one. Play to me, Jota. Yes. Right foot! Oh, no! That should have been it. That should have been it. A huge chance. I put too much power on it. Ruben Neves just saw his life flashing before his eyes. Only a draw against Sweden. 
in the first match. After we come in, we concede. That's not a good sign. We haven't really had any chances coming in. Alexander Isak has gotten an assist while I have been sat here doing nothing. And maybe he might just win the game for his team here. Isak going through. Sweden. Hey, ref, we're already two minutes into extra time. You only said plus one. All right. Well, now you can blow the whistle, right? Right when I'm about to go through. Yeah, of course. It's a draw that I'm not happy with. Sweden have done really well for themselves here. Or even Rui Costa uh, pictures there couldn't help us. CR14 struggling in this one. Maybe it's because he just had a huge offer and he's thinking about that. He's not happy about how this game went. And I've got to admit, I was playing bad here. I think I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to be a right wing because Paulinho was actually doing a good job in this team. So... I don't want to take that away from him. I want to become a right wing again. And here it goes. For Manchester United, we're going to play down the right-hand side as well, which is the spot that Jadon Sancho plays in, I'm assuming, if he's still in the team. Um, but how amazing would it be if they sign Kai Rooney too? Man, that would be, that'd be amazing. Okay, no way. Come on, Haaland against us. We are only on the bench though. How is the game going? We come in at 2-2 in the 90th minute. Haaland has already scored. Sorloth has scored as well. Both of their strikers getting it done. They might be playing in a 4-4-2. I'm not too sure. But we're coming on as a right back. Oh, God. Get out of here. Oh, no. This again. This is happening again now. They, oh, man. Anyways, right back it is. I'm going to bomb forward. Don't care about my match rating. Here he comes. By the way, those Portugal kids, I dislike them a lot. Anyone liking them? I don't know if you do, but... I find them looking like ridiculous in my opinion. But hey, here he goes. Right back, Cristiano. Let's see how this goes. Give me the ball. Give me the ball right now, Paulinho. Yes. All right, Cristiano moving down the wing. Has the space. Goes for it. What a great shot that was. But an even better save from the keeper. That was already better than the Sweden game. No. Haaland's unbelievable unbelievable <sighs> this could be the end this could already be the end for our journey in the european championship i can't believe i'm saying this but our team is uh just not good right now don't know what to say go on let's go come on last chance possibly down the right help me out help me out help me out help me out yes 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 paulinho make that run paulinho go on paulinho please what are you doing yes Yes, Paulinho. Yes, 89th minute. We're back and still in it. Shota. Yes, Shota. Oh, my. The attack has been started down the right-hand side. I was a bit worried about Paulinho's pass, but I guess he saw someone that I didn't see. Shota down the left. Look at that. Just about not offside. Yes, love that. Not the cross to Shota, but the one the moment before when I passed it into him. I thought it might have been offside, so I was kind of worried. But Jota puts it into the back of the net, boys. Let's go. We made an impact on this game. Love to see that. We might have just saved the European Championship here for ourselves and the team. Here's the thing, though. We're going to be up against France and we have to win. So don't know how to feel about that one. I am a bit scared, I have to admit. Well, that might be through here. I need to cover this guy at the far post. I need to cover him. Please, no, don't do this. Oof, just about, just about, and here we go. Last minute, last minute, Paulinho, make that run. Paulinho, come on, Paulinho, come on, Paulinho. Let's do it, Paulinho. He finds the right back. I'm inside, I'm inside. Play me, play me, play me, yes. Left foot it. No, yes, yes, let's go. Let's do it. Yes, get in. Unbelievable! In the 92nd minute of the game against Norway, we score! We just made the comeback with that pass, with the passing play, with the pass into Paulinho initially, and then the pass to Jota. We hit the post twice. How lucky do you have to get? Incredible! Look at that beauty of a strike! Unbelievable. Cristiano pulls it off in the last seconds in a massive tournament for Portugal. This is the savior of Portugal right now. The new savior. No more CR7. It's all about this man. Get in, man. So happy with that.
That might just be the best moment in Cristiano's career. Let's go! Yes, man! Unbelievable. This episode is a freaking banger. Rejecting Bayern Munich, accepting Manchester United, playing in the European Championship. What else do you want? <laughs> The season is coming to an end before we can move on into our life at Manchester United and possibly move on a little bit further in the European Championship by maybe beating France. Who knows? Um, we get the chance to see if this transfer has finally gone through. Are we a Manchester United player? Yes or no? Taking us half a year to go into this, but still nothing. Still nothing about us joining Manchester United. Is that how it goes now? Where is it? Where the hell is it, man? Still no news. Wait, am I still with Sevilla? What the hell is going on? So here it just says, uh, Manchester United in for Ronaldo Jr. Ronaldo Jr. keen to move on for 176 million. Um, and then here's another one with Sevilla's fix fixtures. So I'm still a Sevilla player. What's happening? Anyways, we're at four points. We have to win. We have to win. A draw could technically work out as well. But we are going to be a substitute, so let's see. Oh, there it is. They've secured the signing. Manchester United has signed Ronaldo Jr. So Alex Ferguson stand. There we are, standing in front of it. A massive moment for Cristiano as he joins the team that has made his father who he is today. I have no doubt Cristiano has the skills to compete at this team's level, stated Solskjaer. Oh, no. I made a huge mistake. I'm going to be playing on this guy. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? I might have to single-handedly make Solskjaer's career by making Manchester United win. <laughs> so the game against France begins, and we come in at 0-0 at striker. Okay, so Paulinho comes off. We come in at striker. Uh, that definitely means I can have more of an impact. They have subbed in Upamecano. Varane is still in there. Mukiele, Theo Hernandez, Magnon. I hate to play against him. Mbappe has been subbed off in the 46th. This is my moment. 15 or 14 in-game minutes to go. Let's do this, guys. What are we going to go for? CR14 coming in again. The hero of that last match. Can he do it one more time? This time from striker. Good ball. Cristiano has support. I saw Jota. I should have passed it. A bit too selfish there. Need to do a little bit quicker uh, passing play. Come on, play me through terrible attempt at a pass that I requested here. Awful, awful decision for me. Nice steal. Here goes the team now. Great ball. Here he goes. Cristiano could win it against France. And he does. And he does. Cristiano has done it again. Yes. Yes, man. Mbappe who? Mbappe who, bro? It's all about CR14. It's his season. Scores against Haaland, his squad, in the last minute to win the game. Scores against Mbappe's team in the last few minutes of the match again. He is Clutch Master 3000. That's what we call him now. What a beast, man. Yes. Oh, bro. This episode is freaking fire. <laughs> I do not like this. I'm going to try and help here. There we go. Straight away, put some pressure on the attacker. And that gives us the last minute ball control, which we might just waste here with a terrible pass moving forward. Just play it around the back, guys. Just play it around the back. There we go. We do it. We do it. Play me if you need. Now, moving forward, maybe. Okay, Jota has it under control. Jota brings it over to us. Varan is right on me. And Danilo Pereira... Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. The game's done. Ref. Ref. They were at the halfway line. They were at the halfway line as you let them play on. This is ridiculous. They hit the crossbar. They were at the halfway line as the time ran out. And he still lets them attack one more time. I mean... If I've ever seen a game being fixed, this is the one. France paid off the referee. Portugal might just be out of the European Championship due to this moment and this moment alone. I cannot believe what I've just seen, man. This is ridiculous. I am... Oh, man. This is really upsetting. Musa Diaby scores. <sighs> Unreal.
Unfreaking real. Of course, he blows the whistle straight away. We might be out of the European Championship, guys. We might have just bottled it. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. I really hope the other teams have failed. <sighs> this might be the end of our journey. Come on, please, please, please tell me they failed. No way, 131. Oh, that might put them ahead of us. That might put them ahead of us, boys. I don't know. We got man of the match, but no one cares. No one should care. I think we're out of it. Yes! We're still in it! Get in! We're still in the European Championship. Oh my, wait. Norway had five points too, no? Didn't they have two points going into this? I need to see this. Group stage. Oh no, they, they only had L's. I thought Norway had two points too for some reason. Oh, thank God, bro. No, Haaland, thank you so much for saving us. Thanks to Haaland, we have now moved into the quarterfinals. Belgium against Czech Republic. England versus Portugal. France is through possibly against Hungary, I would say. Netherlands definitely going through against Northern Ireland. Bro, if we can get if we can get past England, there is a good chance of us possibly going ahead and win this whole thing. How incredible would that be? England, here I come. This is a big matchup, and we should be coming in as a sub earlier on, possibly around the 60th minute. That ref, by the way, what a joke he was. 63rd minute, right wing. Let's go. Finally, we're coming in the right position. They are coming in with Joe Gomez, Stones, Alexander Arnold, and especially Luke Shaw as my opponent as the left back in England squad. <sighs> Let's do this. Oh, by the way, there were a bunch of comments that I didn't even mention yet. Uh, Scratch MG says, Cristiano Jr. has literally now become the second Zlatan Ibrahimovic, changing clubs almost every year. Uh, the exact same comment was posted on the Benjamin Aguero career mode back in the day, and everyone still says it was an iconic series, hence why this series is doing so well. So in my opinion, changing clubs just keeps things fresh, guys. At the end of the day, it's a game. Um, if I wanted to stick to one club only, I uh, it would it would be terrible for the videos. No one would care, like genuinely. No one would care about the videos by the time the 10th episode is in. So we can't do that. We need to change clubs. We need to fresh it up. And we need to go ahead and have different situations all the time. And uh, that is why this series has been so, so successful because we have been changing things all the time. So just a heads up to the people that are saying stuff like that. I know it might not be a malicious thing to say as we get a ping pong going on there but it's just like uh, i want to raise awareness as to why i'm doing that i'm changing clubs to keep things fresh for you guys raheem there we go good defense now move it move it forward i'm gonna be on that right hand side if you need me we are moving down the left though now we should be playing passes ideally there we go there we go jota nice bernardo I am going to be inside here, just waiting for the cross. Cristiano does not necessarily jump up in that spot. Oh, hold on. Please win that. Please win that. Please win that. Find me. Yes. This is my spot. Oh, man. That was terrible. That was awful. Cristiano, what the hell, bro? You normally bang him in from that position. He tried the outside of the boot shot and it looked terrible. Don't ever do that again. Oh, great pass from England. 76th minute. Cross coming in. Far post. There we go. Lovely, lovely little rescue there for our team. Yes. Big moment. Big moment. Teammate, teammate, make a run. There we go. Go on it. No, don't play it into me like that. Oh, God, I'm through. I'm through. Cristiano, what, what is that terrible shot? Go on. Go on. Take it. Ah, man. What, why, why are my shots so terrible right now? That was supposed to be the, to the top right corner. We had the perfect spot to shoot as well. Anyways, 79 minutes in. It still remains a very, very interesting game. Nice. Well done. Nice move. Wow. GG's. Wow. This is great football. Let's continue. Let's continue this great football here. Well done, lads. Oh, yes. Look at that. Tiki Taka, bro. Tiki Taka at its best. Wow, what a pass down the wing. Cross coming in. And corner kick. I'm not taking the corner. I'm up against Declan Rice and Cavett Lewin. This is not going to be good for me. Oh, we get it on target. We get it on target. Bruno Fernandes comes in into the game now. That's quite huge as well. So if you need me down the wing, lads. No, you don't need me. You, you might need me now. Yes. There we go. Cristiano plays it inside. Well done. Even better. Go on. One more. Left foot. 
the space was open, but Jordan Pickford, I think it's him. He is making some incredible saves right now. I really hope it's not coming home, you know? That's all I'm hoping for right here. Football is not coming home, right? 87th minute. This could be very dangerous. Harry Kane sees Bukayo Saka. Saka! <sighs> Massive save. Massive freaking save, bro. England attacking down our wing constantly. There we go. Good tackle finally. And now we have the ball in the 89th minute. I'm going to try a little one-two with my teammates here. Bukayo Saka up against us. But I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Stop. Make the move inside. Look for it. Look for the option inside. There we go. We find him. Go on then. Go on then. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are, we, what are you doing? Who the hell is that? Sub him off right now. Bro, he gets the ball in the 90th minute inside the box and he's just chilling. He's just going on a walk with his dog. What the hell? Anyways, extra time. Also, there was another comment coming in saying, Johnny, are you planning to do uh, one more season or two more? How many are you planning on doing? I don't know. It, it genuinely just depends on your guys' support, man. Uh, every series that I ever, ever finish comes down to if it has support or not. If this keeps on going the way it is going right now, I can post this throughout the entire year. I don't care. <laughs> I can have 50 seasons by the end of it. We have options here. Nicely done. I don't necessarily know who to pass it to here. We have an option down the wing with Jota. Jota. There we go. What a save. Bro. Pickford or whoever that is. Stop. Stop being as insane as you are. By the way, I really don't want this to go into penalties because I don't know if I'm Penaldo. I am Ronaldo, but I don't know if I'm Penaldo. I don't know if I have that in me, man. I can't deal with that pressure. Oh, hold on. Nah, ref blows the whistle. Second half of extra time coming in now. Also, there was a comment coming in from Rams who says, Jenny, I think we are all interested in an update on your dad. How is he and his coaching job doing? Very interested to know. Uh, so currently my dad, uh, obviously we have, uh, my little brother was born just a, uh, two years ago now. So he's still very, very small. And um, we had a health issue within our family. So my dad had to quit his job for a while, taking care of that person. Um, so hopefully by the time that person is going to be healthy again, my dad is going to be able to start working again properly as a, as a coach. So yeah, that is the update on my dad right now. Here comes England down the wing. Good pass inside. I don't like it. Is that Mason Mount now? Don't know who that was. No, De Declan Rice is the captain of the England team. Quite an interesting choice. Makes sense though. CDM. Can we take the ball off whoever that is? Harry Kane outside the box as always. Harry Kane now pushing into the box. About to play a great pass there. Luckily, he was not able to pull that off the way he wanted to. Now Jota with a great run. We have runners in the middle. Jota should have played it already. Cross it, Jota. Cross it, Jota. Man, earlier, there's 4v4. That's a good opportunity for us. 120th minute. Ref, blow the whistle. Don't give me another France scenario or I'm going to lose my mind. No, no, please, 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 please. Ref, blow the whistle. We're going into penalties against England. Oh my god, we're going into penalties against England. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. This is going to be intense. This is going to be the most intense moment of Cristiano's career. Oh, please. What? What? What the hell is going on? What do you mean we lost? There were no penalties. Oh my god, I can't believe this is a thing. I cannot believe this is a thing. We didn't get to take any... EA, I'm sorry, but you cannot... This is not a solution. You can't be having me play until the 120th minute and then be like, yeah, you're done. In a quarterfinal in the Euros, I am in, in the penalty shootout. Show me how the penalties are taken and show me the moment I step up to take mine. How can you code it this way? What are you guys doing? It's one of the biggest moments in my career and you just take it away like that. I can't believe it, man. I genuinely cannot believe what I've just seen. This is ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen anything this stupid in my life. I'm sorry, guys, but I think I think this, this tops it all. This genuinely just tops it all. I've never seen anything coded this badly ever, ever. England now in the finals against Netherlands. Cool. Could have been us. Could have been us, man. <sighs> Look at that. 4-3 on penalties. It, sh it says it there. Here, nothing. Nil-nil. They just decided England won. 
I, uh, you know, in moments like these, I, I really lose faith in this game. I really, really do. It's, it's just so upsetting to, I, I should be training as well. Sorry. It's just so upsetting to see stuff like this happen. It ruins it all. It absolutely ruins the entire integrity of the series. Like the, the feeling of the series. I just played until the 120th minute, gave my all, had chances, missed them. And now it came down to an epic penalty to penalty shootout and you're just gonna go ahead and skip it you're just gonna skip it like are you okay who came up with this it just shows that this game has not been tested at all when it comes to career mode they have done zero testing genuinely i wonder i really would love 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 to know it, how many people actually test the game before it comes out? How many people actually, even in the beta, if people have seen this, yes, of course, it's not necessarily a thing that you can test that easily. But as a company, if you're putting out a product, you have to go ahead and make sure that everything is on point. You can't have me go through one of the biggest moments in my career and then all of a sudden, cut to the main menu, say it's nil-nil, no penalties taken, even after the game was skipped technically, and I'm just out of it. In one of the biggest moments, this tournament comes across every four years. I can't run through four seasons to get into the next European Championship now, man. What the hell is this? So every time, let's imagine this was a World Cup final. Imagine this was a World Cup final. And they had me go through all of that, including the 120 minutes there, the extra time, to just say, sorry, we're moving on. We're just going to let your opponents win by default. <sighs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. If, if, you are, if you are a game developer, don't you like write down different scenarios and you test them all? I, I don't. I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how bad... They have done here with with this game in terms of my player in that moment there that's that that just ruins the entire career mode it really really well and truly does i could have joined manchester united now as a european champion i could have joined into this team as a european champion proven what i'm worth but instead i'm now here and doing absolutely nothing i have nothing in my hands Ah, Fabian moves to Liverpool. Okay, hold on a second. Let's do the thing. Thiago. How are you looking right now, Thiago? Thiago Messi, to finish off this epi, because I've just lost all faith in humanity. I'm not playing that game against Liverpool yet. It's a massive game. Thiago Messi now 83 rated. I really, really desperately hope that we can come up against Barcelona at some point in the future and play against him. He needs to just keep on going up in his stats. And they need to stop signing right wings, okay? So Trincao was in this team, who was causing a lot of issues for him not playing. Dembele is 88 rated, so he's ridiculous. Uh, that is one of the main reasons as to why he's not playing. Uh, but Trincao seems to be gone. So I'm assuming Thiago Messi, as a substitute, should be getting a lot more playtime. If he gets to an 84, David Neres is out of it. So a little bit more, and he will be playing in the team. So that's good. England. Let's take a look at that. In... The, I'm assuming, League One still? Yes, League One. Come on, Rooney, please tell me Rooney moved teams. Please. He's 78 rated and he still hasn't moved teams. What, what does this kid have to do to move teams? How, how much higher does he need to be rated? I, I don't get it. I hope he gets to an 80 this season. And at that point, maybe they sign him. But yeah, this is a bit of a disgrace. I wish I could tell my team to sign him. That would be such a beautiful thing to do. I don't think, can I change his team? I can't change his team. It is what it is, boys. I tried my best, but hey. That didn't work out. Okay, let's focus on us, though. Let's focus on us. Let's take a look at our new team. See who's playing. So we have... Where's where's his father? Is his father still here? Is he still here? Yes, he is. Let's go. We're in the same team as his dad. We're going to be playing alongside him. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, Jaden Sancho. Ooh, 91 rated. He plays as a right mid. Rashford. 89 rated plays as a as a left mid guys we might have to play striker not we might we have to play striker 
we have to th th those two are incredible i can't be forcing them out of the team i have to play striker end of story there's no there's no debate about this we have to play striker for manchester united because we can't be having those two incredible players sat on the bench doing nothing that is not possible so we have them two we have Bruno Fernandes behind us. Oh, man, he's going to play some incredible passes into us, isn't he? His contract is expiring soon, though. That sucks. Uh, Varane at the back, which is huge. Palinha has come in. Another Portuguese. Amazing CDM. That was a CDM that I actually suggested uh, Manchester United to buy in real life as well. I think he would do a great job. He's very talented. Uh, Van Misaka at right back. Zaniolo is here. Soboslai is here. Dean Henderson is our goalkeeper. Cristiano is still on the bench, retiring at the end of the season. He's going to be our backup now. He's going to be watching his son play, which is beautiful. De Gea is the goalkeeper. Marco Royce came in. He's probably not going to be playing too much. Fred is hopefully not going to play too much. Lucas Mora is here. Danilo is here. Pelistri has gone up to a 79 at this point. Diallo is a 77 rating. Short tire has gone up to a 75. Wow. Lots and lots of talents here that have grown nicely. But the most important fact is that we have to play striker. We just have to play striker. Otherwise, we're ruining the plan of Manchester United. We were planned as a striker, so we will play as one. And I need to adjust to it. I have a much easier time playing down the wings, I will have to admit. But now I have to relearn how to play the game in the striker position. And we're going to be stepping up against Liverpool in the next episode, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Yes, sure. It's a massive letdown for us to go ahead and have happened to us what happened to us basically at the end of the day. But, you know, we just got to move, guys. We just got to move on. And uh, yeah, player of the tournament is Netherlands Depay. Congratulations. England has won the championship. This is so upsetting. <laughs> I hope you guys are still looking forward to the next EP because I am. A new journey begins in the Premier League. And the new Ronaldo is about to take over Manchester United fans' hearts. Have a good day, guys. Take care and peace.